Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the charts videos. We will continue from the last time that we left and we will now show you how you can create charts with our third library that we have that is called Chart.js. So without further ado, Alexander you can dive in and show us how to create charts with Chart.js. Okay, um, okay. well um, first the documentation. You will find the documentation about charts.js under charts here. And of course, if you need some further assistance, you can go to um, support, which is actually our FAQ page. And under information for developers, you can check out the chart callbacks. Um, we'll be using one table uh, here, and we will just create a couple of charts. So starting with, uh, with the radar chart, Let's choose the engine, chart.js, and choose the radar chart. So let's say chart one, click on next. Then we'll choose this table. And we'll remove, we have a couple of string, yeah, we have two string uh, columns. So, we so have that, that notice is helpful when you... When yeah. You where you can see which limitations they are if you, for example, choose two string columns right. using charts. Yeah, so the, the chart engines do not allow more than one string type column, date, time, image, email, or URL. So we have to exclude one of those. The error is gone now. So now we click on next and we can actually see the data generated here in the chart. Um, options for customizing the chart are right here in the wizard. You can change the color of these um, uh, series. Save, for example, we'll change this one from yellow to, let's say, red. And save. Then under axis, you can choose the labels. There it is right here. Mm -hmm. We don't need that. And we can show the grid on the chart or without the grid and uh, change the title of the chart now. Do we want to show it? Where's it positioned? And so on. So now we save the chart, we get the short code. We can add the short code right here on the page, or you can use the um, included WP data tables. Uh, this is for report build, builders, sorry. So included chart, and we'll call it, we'll select chart one. So when we publish the page, we can actually see it right here. This is all done on our Sandbox website, so you guys can check it out on your own. So here it is, here's the chart that we just created. So let's create another yeah, one. Sure. Um, this time we will use the um, area chart. So uh, area chart, same engine, same table. Go to the next page, we'll exclude this one and this one, and add all these columns. So click on next, and here's the here's yeah. the uh, area chart. Um, in here, you can also change colors, uh, add names to the axes. Um, basically, the customization <coughs> settings are Almost the same, like from the Google charts and from the high, high charts. Exactly, like, yes, almost the same. I mean, there may be a few minor differences, but for example, here you can uh, choose the curves so that the lines are smooth, not straight. So let's leave that on and save the chart. And again, you can now copy the short code and add it to the page here. So when we update the page, we can take a look at it and see the two charts, one below each other. Okay. That's you can also use the, for example, Mentor or WP Bakery. Yes, of course. Uh, you uh, you could you can see that actually uh, in our sandbox that you can use the um, backend editor of uh, WP Bakery and uh, even the front end editor. I mean, our whole documentation website is done with this uh, builder, so we can confirm that it's working flawlessly. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's pretty much it. We don't need to dive further to creating a chart. So if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below and we will answer it right away. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. subscribe. See you in another video. Bye. Take care, guys. Thank you.